Hey everyone, welcome back to Third Education. In this video, I'll be doing a full review of Virgil Abloh's Fall Winter 2021 menswear collection for Louis Vuitton. And at the end, I'll be giving you my rating of the collection out of 10. So let's get right into it. This collection debuted on January 21st of 2021, and it was actually presented in the format of a film titled Peculiar Contrast, Perfect Light. You can watch it in its entirety on louisvuitton.com, and if you haven't already, I highly encourage you to do so. Even though it had elements of a traditional fashion show in the sense that models were showcasing pieces from the collection on a runway, it was woven in with this story aided by a spoken word narration and even a performance from the legendary Yasin Bey. Now obviously this isn't the first time Virgil has done something like this, but he's never gone this far before with the concept of a cinematic fashion show. And if you ask me, I want him to keep pushing this concept further and further. Of course, we're all looking forward to the time when there can be audiences at fashion shows again. But this film really highlights the fact that there's something special about being able to showcase a collection without being bound to a single location, certain camera angles, lighting, viewpoints, the list goes on. It's really evident that Virgil spent a lot of time carefully staging the interior for this showroom, and the installation here actually reminds me a lot of the alpine marble walls from his photo shoot at the Barcelona Pavilion. Now in terms of the collection itself, there are a few interesting things going on that I want to talk about. Foremost, I feel like this collection was in many ways a continuation of Virgil's Fall 2019 menswear collection for Louis Vuitton. Not in every sense, but you can definitely see some similarities. Even though they take different approaches, both collections sort of go for this American 1940s-esque aesthetic. I will note, however, that with this Fall Winter 2021 collection, Virgil does mix up the color palette a bit as well as the cuts and proportions he uses. You'll notice that most of the pieces have a very boxy fit, and many pieces, particularly the pants and coats, have very long, flowing proportions. This design choice isn't new for Virgil, but he does lean into it very heavily with this collection, and I have to say he pulls it off really well. Now back to the color palette, you'll notice there's a lot of green in this collection, as well as some bright red, yellow, and orange accents throughout. These colors didn't define the whole collection though, and one area where Virgil really stepped up his game was with his pattern making. These really stole the show for me, and the combination of browns and greens and purples formed a color palette that's perfect for a fall-winter collection. Now in terms of some of the more eye-grabbing looks, we had these 3D city suits. Yes, these were a little bit out there, but I don't think Virgil expects anyone to be pulling up to Fashion Week wearing these. Maybe except for Kerwin Frost. But jokes aside, I believe these were meant to add more to the story of the film. So if you're confused, just watch it and hopefully it will make a bit more sense. Another standout look was this bike suit. Aesthetically, the colors fit in with this collection, but conceptually, this felt a little bit out of context to me. So now let's talk about everyone's favorite part of every Louis Vuitton collection, and that is luggage and accessories. This is another area where I saw some continuity from previous collections, with the metallic monogram print, ceramic chains, and bright accents paired with the traditional monogram print. There were a few interesting pieces like the airplane bag, and I'll mention airplanes and travel seem to be a consistent theme throughout the collection, because in addition to this bag we got an airplane sweater, airplane buttons, and the phrase tourist versus purist labeled on several different pieces. I'll point out that this phrase was actually printed in a font very similar to the iconic Newport cigarette logo, which added to the retro vibe of the collection. Now maybe you didn't find this as amusing as I did, so you'll have to forgive me if you think this is kind of weird, but my favorite accessory from the whole collection was the monogram travel mug. For some reason I love when big luxury brands make small household items like this, and if it hits retail, I definitely plan on picking it up just to be able to say I have it. So now that we've gone over most of the collection, let's wrap things up with my favorite look, least favorite look, and my overall rating. My least favorite look we already talked about, so no surprise there. It's really not that bad, but like I said, it is just a little bit out of context. Then, for my favorite look, I'm gonna have to go with this one right here. There are a few others I could have very easily gone with, but like I said, Virgil's pattern making was the highlight of this show for me, and it's really on display here. Not to mention I really love the way the coat sits right over the cowboy boots, and the metallic suitcase in a strange way balances out what is otherwise a very dark color palette. So overall, I'm going to give this show an 8.5 out of 10. I've reviewed other shows before, but this is the first time I'm rating a show. So just to clarify, in my books, an 8.5 is above average. And I think that's fair here because we really did get a new side of Virgil, and I think he nailed it. 
Even though I'm rating the collection itself and not necessarily the show, I think that Virgil's presentation of this collection played a major part of how it was perceived. And from what I've heard, the initial response to the show has been extremely positive. I'm sure things could have been a little more cohesive, because if you were to show me these two looks side by side, I probably wouldn't be able to guess that they were from the same collection. And that's not to say they're all supposed to look the same, because after all, there were 70 different looks in this collection so he had plenty of room to experiment and try new things, and that's exactly what he did. So I won't hold that against him. Moving forward, like I said, I would love to see Virgil keep pushing the boundaries of pattern making. I would love to see him keep working with Fur and Shearling for his fall winter collections. And above all else, I want him to keep telling stories. Aesthetically speaking, this isn't my favorite Virgil collection of all time, but I do think it is one of his most inspired, and for that reason, it will be one of his most memorable for me. So that concludes my review of Virgil Abloh's Fall Winter 2021 menswear collection for Louis Vuitton. Let me know what you thought of the collection, what is your favorite look, what is your least favorite look, and is an 8.5 out of 10 a fair rating for this collection? If not, tell me what you would have rated it. Also, please let me know if you guys liked this review and want me to keep doing more, and if you do, make sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you for watching Thread Education, and I'll see you next time.